John Uzzini. I'm a pastry chef, an author, a motorcyclist, and I'm traveling the world in partnership with the Lamertian Hotel, searching for the most beautiful flavors around. I've always loved the complex combinations of flavors in Indian food. The capital, New Delhi, is a hub for the diverse cuisine of its many states. My first stop is Asia's biggest wholesale vegetable market, Azadpur Mandi. India is the largest producer of ginger in the world, and a lot of it goes to this market. Each truck contains about 15,000 kilo of ginger. of ginger, and there are 40 trucks for the serious ginger hub. One of the chefs at Le Meridian recommended a trip to Mital Tea, one of Delhi's oldest tea shops, curators of some of the finest blends. Good morning, morning. How are you? How are you? So nice <laughs> to see well. you. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful shop. Our pleasure, my pleasure. We would say the good Assams are malty. Quality of large volume tea, I think, is really unparalleled. The Darjeeling second flush. It's the second, second season. good season of the year. For many people, is the ultimate tea. The beauty of tea is that its delicate notes pair well with other ingredients. In the center of Old Delhi is their legendary spice market. I was overwhelmed by the sights, sounds, and especially the smells. What a great place. Well, it's only been here for the last 97 years. We do grow a lot of these in India. I mean, probably the largest volumes of a few of these spices. So masala be a Hindi name for spice. It would mean a mix of different spices. This, this is something like at the uh, end of the meal. Fennel does aid in digestion of your food. It refreshes your palate. So it serves many purpose. Delhi is famous for its street food, where old traditions and new ideas come together. I was really surprised to come across the Kobri food truck and meet Chef Kumar. Nice to meet you, Chef. Nice to meet you too, mate. People in South India, they eat dosa and idli. My idea is basically just to take what is already there from the last very, very long time and just give some little twist. Mm -hmm. That's very similar to what I'm doing with Le Meridian using the eclair. Awesome, isn't it? market with new friends and sit down with old ones has given me great insight into this vast and curious cuisine. With Indian food, sometimes within that one dish, you want to create as many flavors as possible. The spices in India, it needs to be like a symphony. You know, even if one instrument is out of tune, the yep. whole balance is off. This is cocaine, tandoor. I like the flavors of this one. While spending a few moments with Le Meridian's talented pastry chef, Vikas, he shared some of his experience with me and helped open my eyes to new possibilities. A blend of turmeric, cumin, and chili powder are the base flavors of the eclair, filling it with a sweet, jaggery Darjeeling cream, topping it with a spicy ginger glaze, finishing it with a mixture of anise, fennel, and coconut. This is the eclair inspired by New Delhi. Thank you.